Today I will give you all the information you'll need to know about the steps and procedure on how to apply NBI clearance online here we go. Part 2 Schedule an Appointment Now your next step would be scheduling your appointment for your NBI clearance online processing. In the right side of your screen, right beside the your application form you'll see apply for clearance button. Click it to start scheduling your appointment. A small window will show up asking you what valid ID you have that you will present when applying for an NBI clearance. You may refer to the list of valid IDs accepted in applying NBI clearance. It will direct you the scheduling system of the website. First thing to do is select the NBI clearance branch where you want to appear and process your NBI clearance. Select any NBI branch that you prefer. I advise you to choose a branch that is near and convenient for you. Remember that this is the place where you're going to process your NBI clearance and have your photo taken as well as biometrics, fingerprint scan. Next is the date and time. Select your preferred date and time. NBI clearance branches are open Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Though the office hours differ from every branch. Another thing, the availability of the NBI branch also depend on Philippine holiday and local municipality holiday. This means, NBI branch are not open during holidays. There are times that the city where the NBI branch is located held its own holiday such as Manila Day, Quezon City Day and others. When this happens, NBI branch on that area is closed. So make sure to check the holiday calendar before you set an appointment. Select the date you want to process your NBI clearance. Obviously, select the date when you are available. There are only two options for the time slot, AM, morning, and PM, afternoon slash after lunch. There's no specific time. What time do I exactly come to the NBI clearance branch? It's up to you. If you chose AM, then go there when the branch opens. I recommend going there early. If you chose PM, after lunch to closing is the time. You're almost done with the NBI clearance online application. After selecting the NBI branch, time, and date, select the payment method. I recommend paying your NBI clearance in 7-Eleven with a working clique booth slash terminal. Note that it will also show you how much NBI clearance application fees. It will cost you P130 for NBI clearance, P25 for e-payment services and additional P15 for convenience fee if you use 7-Eleven as payment method. Also note that all payment options has different amount of convenience fees. Click the 7-Eleven icon to proceed. It will display your NBI clearance reference number. Take note of it or take a photo using your smartphone. The NBI clearance reference number will be used when paying your NBI clearance online application fee. What if I lost the NBI clearance online reference number? Don't worry, you still have a copy of it saved in your NBI clearance account. Just log in back to your account and go to transactions page. You can find it at the left portion of the screen, if you're using a desktop. I already made a schedule of my NBI clearance appointment, K 
can I still reschedule it? Unfortunately, no. You can't reschedule it. But if you didn't pay it yet, you can schedule another appointment on the day you really want and ignore the previous appointment and previously issued NBI clearance reference number. As long as you didn't pay the old or previous appointment you made. Does the NBI clearance reference number has an expiration? Yes, the NBI clearance reference number must be paid within 24 hours or it gets expired. You won't be able to pay it in your chosen payment option. Also, the cashier from the payment center will not accept your payment because your reference number is expired. The cashier didn't accept my NBI clearance reference number, what should I do? Easy, you just need to log in back to your account and repeat steps 3 to 6. That way, you'll be able to schedule another appointment with NBI clearance website. Can I refund the payment that I made for NBI clearance application fee? Ideally there should be a refund. But you have to coordinate with the NBI clearance office. Which will be a hassle on your part, believe me. You can call 0917-999-9421 or 0920-412-9999. I want to apply for an NBI clearance for travel abroad or any other purpose. I realized that I didn't select the purpose of my NBI clearance. Why is that? It's because all the issued NBI clearance are multi-purpose. This means that the multi-purpose NBI clearance can be accepted to any This means that the multi-purpose NBI clearance can be accepted to any transaction you use it. Please read, multi-purpose NBI clearance. Pay the NBI clearance online fees. The section gives you an overview on how to pay your NBI clearance online application in 7-Eleven. But we have written a more detailed tutorial on how to pay your NBI clearance online application fee in any 7 Eleven. Read How to Pay Your NBI Clearance Application in 7 Eleven Anyway. Head down to the nearest 7 Eleven branch with a working clique booth. A clique booth serves as a self service bills payment machine where
is a little bit tricky. First thing to do is go back to the NBI Clearance Online website and log in to your account. Go to Transaction page and find the reference number you've used when you pay your application fee. Check the status if it changed from unpaid to paid. If it's already paid, then you don't have a problem. Just take note of the reference number or take a screenshot or photo of it. You can just bring this to show the NBI clearance personnel when processing your NBI clearance. You can just forget the receipt because it is already recognized by the system that you already paid. If it's unpaid, wait for at least 6, 6, hours it should change the status to paid. Do I need to print the NBI clearance application form? You don't have to print the NBI clearance application form. It's optional. You have the freedom to print or not to print the said application form. But as long as you have the NBI clearance reference number, you're good to go. I lost my receipt, NBI clearance reference number and I can't log in to my NBI clearance online account. What should I do? Whoa. This is a huge problem. You lost all the those important things. The thing is, the most important item from that is the NBI clearance reference number. If you don't have it, you can just retrieve it from your online account but if you can't open your account, then you can just use the forgot password feature of the website. The website will send an email to the registered process your NBI clearance online application the day you schedule your appointment is the day you should go to the NBI clearance branch where you set the appointment. Also, keep in mind of the time slot you have scheduled, either AM or PM, as previously mentioned above, you don't have to print the application form. As long as you have your NBI clearance reference number. Make sure to bring two, two, valid IDs as part of the NBI clearance requirements. Here are the list of NBI clearance requirements accepted in applying an NBI clearance, valid Philippine passport voters ID driver's license PRC license SSSID GSISUM ID postal ID school ID TIN ID Phil health ID alien cert of registration senior citizen previous copy of NBI clearance Philzies ID on the day of your scheduled appointment make sure to wear appropriate attire according to the dress code implemented in the NBI clearance branches Note that guards assigned at the entrance of the NBI clearance branch can deny you the entry if you are not wearing appropriate clothes. When you arrive at the branch, expect that your photo and biometrics, fingerprints, will be taken. Usually, there's a queue line on these due to volume of applicants. There's nothing special with the photo capture and fingerprint. What you need to watch out is the incorrect personal information written in your application form. This is the chance to correct it. The NBI clearance personnel will let you verify for incorrect information in NBI clearance. Check each lines just to be sure. Releasing of your NBI clearance. Once you're done with photo capture and fingerprints, you will be asked to proceed the releasing area. A separate waiting room or area is designated for releasing the NBI clearance issued for the day. 
The release of your NBI clearance fully depend on your name if you have a hit or not. According to our previous article, hit is the term used by NBI clearance outlets if the applicant has a namesake and requires the NBI clearance to be verified further before release to its owner. There are 104 million, and counting, breathing individuals in the Philippines. With that size of population, there's a chance that you have a namesake who already applied for their NBI clearance. You've been hit. Reasons why you can't afford a one-day NBI clearance processing. If you don't have a hit, they will be release your NBI clearance in a few minutes. If you have an NBI clearance hit, they will ask you to go home and come back on their assigned date. It's usually eight, eight, working days but sometimes, it extends to 15, 15, working days due to a huge volume of applicants. In short, you have to wait for the pickup date the NBI clearance assigned before you get your hands on your precious NBI clearance. I failed to claim my NBI clearance, can I still claim it? It depends. If we're just talking about two to three weeks, maybe you can still claim it. But if we're talking about a month or several months, there's a possibility that they won't give it to you since it's been there already for so long and have to destroy it. I won't be able to claim my NBI clearance on the specified date, can I ask someone to claim it? Yes, you can do that. But you should. But you should issue an authorization letter stating that you authorized your representative to claim your NBI clearance. You may read more about this in our article, Ask Someone to Claim Your NBI Clearance. There's also a chance that when you claim your NBI clearance after waiting 8, 8, working days, the NBI personnel asks you to go to the NBI Clearance Taft Main Building for Quality Control Interview. According to our previous post, NBI Clearance Quality Control Interview, in my own understanding, NBI Clearance Quality Control Interview is a process by which an NBI personnel reviews or verify the true identity of the NBI clearance applicant. This usually happens if you have the following, you have a pending or ongoing case. You are under for arrest, outstanding warrant of arrest, and needs to be identified in relation to a crime by the police authorities or it's mostly possible that you have, you have a namesake has a pending or ongoing case or your namesake are under for arrest, outstanding warrant of arrest, and needs to be identified in relation to a crime by the police authorities you can read more about the quality control interview here at our article. Read, NBI clearance quality control interview there you have it, it's the complete and ultimate guide on how to apply NBI clearance online. I missed my NBI clearance appointment, can I still go the other day? It also depends. If you missed your schedule and 2 to 5 working days have passed, you still go to the NBI clearance branch and process your NBI clearance. But if it's been a more than a week, NBI branch can deny you of their service. If ever you still have a question which is not tackled in this post, feel free to leave a comment down below. Again, it would be such a great help for us if you share this article in Facebook. Just click the Facebook icon below. Thank you. If you find IT helpful or educational kindly hit like, share, and ring the bell, comments down below for more videos and updates and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.